And this is his family hand that loves him. Nadine Young refused to let this reporter get by her, determined to make sure someone heard her plea. My concern is my 21-year-old needs help with this heroin use. He's been abusing it for five years. Outside Baltimore Circuit Court, she shared pictures of her son, Timmy McKinnon. She says a high school football injury led to prescribed painkillers and then illegal drug use. The snapshots captured pleasant family moments and devastating times, like a hospital stay in which she spent three days in a coma. Photos she also wanted to show the judge and attorneys in her son's felony case. To let them see that Timmy needs help, not jail. Jail is not going to help her. But serving time in jail became a real possibility. Police charged McKinnon along with a co-defendant in a June 2016 armed robbery. It happened at Harford Road and 25th Street in East Baltimore, a couple getting gas held up at the pump. Surveillance cameras at the gas station captured some of what happened. Police found no video showing McKinnon. The victims who did not get hurt picked his picture in a photo lineup. McKinnon's mother did not want to believe he took part but in her plea, she realized... I know he's doing whatever he can to get the use of drugs. Then came the court case. Defense attorney Erica King fighting for... Drug treatment. That's what he needs. Inpatient, intense drug treatment. In March, King made a motion requesting the Department of Health perform an in-custody evaluation. Judge Cynthia Jones ordered it. The process usually takes just seven days, but a backlog of cases caused a two-month delay. Frustrating McKinnon's mother, who wanted him in treatment immediately. In July, McKinnon came back to court, but another frustration. In order for him to get the help that he needed, he had to plead guilty. The sentence imposed nine years with all but five suspended, plus three years probation. The judge ordered McKinnon receive drug treatment, but he remained in jail waiting for a treatment facility to provide space. Mary Paizo handles mental illness and substance abuse issues for the state's public defender's office. There is only a finite number of those slots as well. There, there has been some money freed up to be able to get more of those slots, um, not enough. The Maryland Department of Health tells us currently 720 treatment beds are in the system, 245 of them assigned for court-ordered admissions. The state spends $170 a day for each patient with the average stay lasting four months, but it can take 90 days or more to get a treatment slot. Right now, more than 30 people are on a waiting list. When our clients come to see us, there are two kind of issues, the legal part and you always have a social work part. Timmy McKinnon's attorney is hoping for success. When he receives this intense drug treatment, it not only helps himself, it helps the community as well because you're addressing a problem that this young man has. It's a victory. I hope that Timmy take advantage of this program and these different opportunities that's going to come his way. And I hope he never turn to drugs in these streets again. For the 11 News I team, I'm Barry Sims. And at this point, Barry tells us that McKinnon remains in jail, still waiting for a court ordered treatment bed. Health officials say the $3.2 million in state and local funding announced earlier this month is expected to expand treatment slots statewide and add a tracking system to find available beds.